This is the Seiko Orange Monster. It features the 4R36 automatic movement. That's made by Seiko Corporation in Japan. It's a 27.4 millimeters in diameter, 5.32 millimeters thick, has 24 jeweled bearings, does 21,600 beats per hour, has a lift angle of 53 degrees, a reserve power of 40 hours. You can hand wind it without even moving the stem so it's hackable. You hand wind it clockwise. It has a bi-directional rotor winding called a magic lever. It supports the anti-shock system called Diashock. The regulator system is called an Etacron. It features the hours, minutes, central seconds, day and date. It was made in Japan. Here we can see the movement demonstrating the nighttime loom function or the phosphorescent uh, pigments, usually europium doped cerium or something, some mix like that. Um, Seiko has some proprietary loom material that's some of the best in the watch industry. And what that does is it lights up these hands. Here's a kind of an art shot zoomed way in. And as we pull out, it's just to show the light level. And that orange colored dial is um, being lit by 2000 Kelvin light. Uh, so it's the color accuracy, it looks more red here, but it's actually a vibrant metallic shimmer orange, um, like sunburst orange they use on the Mazda Miata. It's absolutely uh, wonderful. Um, I wore this all night, and uh, even by 3 or 4 a.m. I could still see the loom. So it has excellent uh, light re-emission or retention properties. Uh, photon recovery of phosphorescent compounds effectively absorbs uh, ultraviolet light and then re-emits it at visible wavelengths uh, slowly as the photons are trapped in the uh, crystal structure of the phosphor. And uh, in the Elden days they used to use radioactive radium um, to auto-illuminate. You can get wristwatches with tritium vials. Here we see a close-up of the um, hands, the second hand and the hour hand. You can see they're very precisely made. Here's a microscope that clips onto a phone showing the second hand sweeping. Um, sorry, the video quality is not that great. I didn't actually zoom on the phone. I was trying to get it to focus, but the surface crystal is um, offset enough from the movement that it was hard to get the front of the um, kind of toy microscope close enough to pull a strong focus. Um, you can see the phone's CMOS software and post-processing is doing everything under the sun to try to create a sharp image. And on the bezel there, you can kind of, where it says automatic and the light is glistening, you can kind of get a sense for that metallic shimmering orange effect uh, that radiates from the center outward uh, like a bunch of fine spokes. Um, and it produces these weird optical cascade refractions and reflections that are a uh, real stunner in first person. It's really hard to show this uh, in a vid video format or in pictures or images. Um, also, the color depth or hue, here we see that it shows the, the day, Saturday, and the date, the 22nd of January in this case. Um, I literally had just unboxed this watch and started shooting video of it uh, with my iPhone um, so I wanted to capture the sweeping of the date hand like this across the date and figured since this is a commentary video, why not? Now you might wonder, what's the perfect wristwatch for you? Well, that depends on your budget. 